Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. It's time for another empty videos and if you're interested to see what products I've used up and what of them I'm going to repurchase or what them, and which products I just want to get rid of, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm very excited to show you the products that I've used for a couple of months and that I'm emptied and uh, what I feel about them. But if you hear my children playing around, they are very loud today. Okay, so the first product I want to show you is this one. This is the Body Shop Vineyard Peach Shower Gel that I got in my glossy box. I know for how long ago, maybe two, three months ago. And it kind of matches my eye look today. This is a makeup look with this palette. It's coming up on my channel soon. I don't know if it's going to be before this video or after this video. I'm not really sure. But... Either way, this one I really enjoyed. I really like how it smells fresh peaches and I can definitely see myself purchasing this one. It's beautiful, it lasted me a long time and I do really like it. I don't feel like it really moisturizes my skin and keeps it very soft because I do have very, very dry skin on my body. But it's a fresh smell. My children loved it, my husband loved it, and I loved it too. It did last us a long time. You don't have to use a lot of it to get your body clean. So I do see myself repurchasing and I do like uh, the Body Shop shower gels. So the next product is I have two of them. And it's makeup removal wipes. This is from brand it's with aloe vera I don't know which brand but this I got two for what price of one and mm, they did <laughs> I have mixed feeling about this they did remove my makeup I won't lie but they weren't very soft I didn't like the texture of them they were wet they were they cleaned my skin it felt fresh but I just didn't like how they felt you know there were some of the makeup wipes that are kind of or oh, not scratchy, but not really nice and fine um, texture. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I can't see myself repurchasing these. Maybe if I'm in a hurry and I can't find any else and I like need them and I see these, maybe I will put, put them in my shopping bag, but I'm not really sure. Nah, let me be honest, I wouldn't repurchase these. Okay, then I also bought this natural exfoliating socks, food socks. I kind of like these. They did work. They did a good job. They're not the best. They did remove the dead skin and my skin did peel off after a week. I did like them. Um, but uh, I can definitely see myself repurchasing these. I know there are others that work much, much better, but they did a good job. Fine. Weren't expensive. I will definitely repurchase these. Then I finally used up this Boro masterpiece that I got my glossy box, I think, last year. These kind of, I don't know what they are, they are 4 Hydra Plus Active Fluid and 3 Active Night Fluid. Day and night supplies intensive moisturizer during the day and support skin reg regulation while you sleep. I don't like these Amapules packaging. They are glass. I don't really like them because they are glass and I don't use the whole one. I know how you could use the whole ambulant, ambulant. I didn't use the whole ambulant, so I had to have it on my night stand and use it next night. I think I the one lasted me for three nights. And because of the packaging, I don't like it. Maybe I used it the wrong way. Maybe you should use the whole one. I do not know. I didn't research about this. Would I repurchase it myself? Probably not. They did work fine. But it's not something I would like to repurchase because they are a little bit expensive for the first. For the second, uh, I don't like the packaging. That's the only reason. But if I would get this as a present and maybe in my next glossy box, I would definitely use it because I did like kind of conceal results, but it made my skin feel nice. I think you should use this maybe a longer time to see something happening. But I did use it and I didn't use it constantly. I maybe use two or three ambulance and then I stop using it, and then I use one more and I stop using it and then I use it again. So that is maybe a why I didn't really see any dramatic results. But uh, it didn't feel it didn't make my skin look worse. So that's a good thing. 
Then I have another makeup wipes. This is from Nivea. Nivea. Three in one refreshing cleansing wipes. I don't remember how these work. I have to be honest. Will I repurchase these? Probably yes, because I do like Nivea products. But I can't remember how they worked. I'm so sorry, guys. And I don't have any to see. I think I didn't like the texture of them. No, I think they were very soft. Yeah, I would definitely repurchase it because I don't feel like they didn't work. I don't know. Lash care. That's good, but I don't remember. I'm sorry, guys. So, definitely purchase them again because I don't remember how they worked. Then I did use up this Lexitan Immortal Div Extra in Divine Ultimate Your Face Serum. This was very expensive. And I think I saw Kathleen Light talk about these products for a couple of, I would say years, maybe two years ago. And I did purchase it and I did use it. This is supposed to... Uh, skin seems regulate 88% uh, saw this dehydrated and after just seven days it looked more elastic like transformed 78% felt like that over time skin's skin seemed seems denser 92% sign of aging appearance reduced 94% I don't know I did use it every morning and every night I don't think that I, yeah, well, people did tell me that my skin looked beautiful, but I did use a couple of other products, and when I stopped using them, I kind of just wanted to finish this because it was expensive, and I didn't want to stop using it, but I don't think it kind of did like the things that I really wanted it to do, like things it said it should supposed to do, so... Would I repurchase it? No, I would not because it was expensive. It's glass, so it's not travel friendly. So I didn't travel with it, and it did made my skin feel good. But I don't think it's worth the money. Like let's just put put this out there. I'm excited. I was excited. I was kind of <clears throat> hoping that we that, hoping that it will work, but if it did, I no. No, I won't buy it again. And then I also got the eye uh, eye serum or eye cream serum. I don't have the packaging of it here. And I wouldn't repurchase it. I don't think it did anything. And it was very expensive. It's not travel friendly. It's glass. Uh, L'Occitane, I heard so good things about them. They are very expensive brands. Uh, they have natural ingredients. I just feel like it didn't really do, do the things that I wanted to do for my skin. Uh, it didn't do anything for my under eye area. I still had wrinkles. I still had thin skin. It still uh, was very puffy and uh, was very dry here around. I just felt like it didn't do anything. So that's a, I wouldn't repurchase it. Then I did use up this Tees cosmetic uh, mascara that I tried on my channel. I have a full video of it, first impression one. Uh, it was a good mascara, but look what happened. This pops out. Would I repurchase it? No, I would not because it made my eyelashes black, that's all. Nothing dramatic. Uh, after using a couple of times, it started drying out. It dried out very fast. I don't know why. So I would definitely not repurchase it, but I love the packaging. I think it's stunning, but I just don't feel like it's worth the money. Then I also use this mascara. This is Miss Manga Mega Volume Mascara from, well, from L'Oreal. And I don't think... It did make my eyelashes very long, very thick. They look beautiful, but it transformed down under my eyes after using it a couple of times. The first maybe week it didn't transform down under my eyes but after a week it started transforming and it did still make my eyelashes look long and full but it just started transforming under my eyes and I don't like that that so I stopped using it then one more thing I did use up this is the hello beauty booster intensive uh, hair skin nail booster I love this product I do continue using it this is my third bottle if you don't trust me let me show you one two 
three, and this is how I use them. I love the packaging, so I didn't throw the packaging away. I'm not going to, to throw the packaging away because it works for this. And I can say that I love this product. It made my, and I did bought it because of my hair. I do uh, lose a lot of hair because of my health. And after I was blonde and bleached my hair for a year, uh, it started, it, and it, my hair is very thin. It started breaking and my hair got very bad from this part down here. And now I'm cutting a lot. I love a long hair, but I'm cutting a lot every three, four months because I know you should cut your hair more often, but I, no, no, I won't do that. But I, I cut it every three, four months and I do cut a lot of it because I want my hair to start growing thick. And it did start growing thick. And I can feel when I put my hands here, my hair is thick. And when I go down here, it's very thin because there is uh, this part left that I do need to cut that kind of uh, broke after bleaching. But right now, this part of ha hair is very healthy. Love this product and I will definitely repurchase it. I do have three more, pa three more new that I use and I love it. So definitely something I'm going to continue using. My nails are healthier. Now my nail polish looks like crap. I do need to fix my nails. I'm so sorry. I was busy for a whole week and yeah, that's another video. But I do like this product. It does work for me. I do need to take it together with food because then I'm, if I don't take it with food, I have some stomach pain. It's not, not bad, but I do need to take it with food. I'm curious to see how the Kiwi one works because of the skin. Uh, this one does make my skin not break a lot and I do like how this makes my skin but I think the kiwi will do more for the skin but the kiwi doesn't do anything for the hair and I do need something for my hair. So maybe after I finish the other three bottles I will repurchase kiwi. I will purchase kiwi. I do not know. But I am kind of really want to try that because I love this product. Then I did finish my hyaluronic filler day cream for normal to combination skin. I did like this product. I did think it worked. I got so many compliments after using the whole series of this hyaluronic filler. Can see myself repurchasing these. These products are amazing. I do not like the eye makeup remover that I'm talking about in my, I think, uh, heat pans video. I think it's called like that. But I do like other products from this one and um, definitely see myself repurchasing the, it. This is more for maybe spring and summer. My skin likes this cream during the, those months, but uh, yeah, I like it. Then I did use this Travel Size Tr Truth Serum from Ole Henriksen that I got in uh, my glossy box. Uh, this is college booster with true C complex boost and yeah, something. This smells oranges. I love the smell of it. And when I put, did put it on my skin, it kind of uh, felt like it. my skin was very fresh and uh, very glowy. I do like this product. I had, would, I would, would I purchase the full size? I think I would. But I did bought other face serum that I'm waiting for, so that is why I won't purchase. That is why I won't buy this one. But I can definitely see my buying this one in future because it was good. I don't know. I think I need to use it more during a long time. This wasn't enough for me to see something dramatic, but it did feel left my skin very fresh and nice. My L'Oreal Paradise mascara. I like this mascara. I can see my self repurchasing it. I won't repurchase it now because I do have a couple of new mascaras that I'm going to try out. I Right now I'm using my Nip and Fab that I love. This is the one that I have on my eyelashes today. And I think it's a good mascara and I can definitely see myself per, uh, buying this again. I did have it in my other giveaways, uh, not in this one that I have right now. I do have a giveaway on my channel so don't forget about that. But uh, I can definitely see myself purchasing this one again. I love this mascara. It dries out very fast. That's the only negative with that mascara. Then I also did finish my Godico. Godico. I can't pronounce this one. This is Dream Serum. This is the one serum that Instagram made me buy it. And uh, I was very glad that I finally could get my hands on it. This is made in Australia, cruelty-free, ve vegan-friendly, made with love. For best results, pour, pour two drops onto cl cleansed, damp skin in the morning and night. 
I did start using it and then I stopped using it before because I got some other products and then I did start using it again and I'm finished. Uh, this is this was very expensive. The shipping was very expensive. It costed almost like the bottle itself. So I won't repurchase it. If I get it uh, as a present or if I Sweden somehow Swedish store somehow starts to selling it, I can definitely see myself repurchasing this one, but it was very expensive. It was nice. It wasn't anything dramatic. I don't I can't say it was the wow effect. I do like it. Uh, I think there is maybe other product that would work better for my skin. I don't know, uh, but I will definitely not repurchase it from their website because the shipping was too expensive. Then I also finished my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation number 4. Love this foundation. I do have it in other shades, but they are wrong shade. And I think I gave one shade to my sister, number 3. And I do have number eight, which is which is too dark for me right now. I'm not uh, ten, but I do love this foundation. I think it's an amazing foundation. My skin loves it. Definitely something that I will purchase. It's not expensive. It's one of the best foundations, and I will definitely buy it again. Not right now because I do have a lot of foundation, and I just bought the uh, two new foundations, two, two new foundations that I'm going to review on my on my channel soon uh, but I do like this foundation and I definitely definitely going to buy it in the future love it and maybe I will repurchase the, it sooner because I know I can trust this foundation and the one that I have from my Estee Lauder double way I love that foundation but right now it's still too a little bit too light for me the one that I have and this one is cheaper and I like it but I do have others yeah repurchase love it then I also finished the brow gel by Tonya Crooks 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 I don't know how to pronounce it this is the one that I got for, in my glossy box for a couple of months ago maybe even a year ago I do not like this product Ugh, I do not like it because it left strange texture on my eyebrows i did use it because i did need that brow gel and i was too lazy to buy i buy so i buy so much makeup i buy so many eyeshadow palettes that i don't even need but the product that i need i don't buy i don't know why i do not know i'm strange but i won't repurchase it and if i get it in my glossy box i will definitely pass it to someone else maybe someone else like it because i know my friend got it in her glossy box and she loves loved it I did not. Then I did use of this Dr. Dennis Gross. This is Ferulic and Retinol Wrinkle Recovery Overnight Serum. I got this in my glossy box and this is a very interesting serum. I think it was like brown shade <laughs> and I did like it. I did like this serum. Um, would I repurchase it? Maybe not right now because I'm waiting. I'm waiting for another serum to arrive. But I did like it. I don't know how much it is. I got it in my glossy box, but it was a nice serum. It's kind of strange smell and strange shade, but it worked fine. I like it. It's too small packaging to really say anything, but it did make my skin look fresh. And uh, I don't know, like when I put this on, it rested. But I, uh, yeah. Maybe I will buy it. I don't know. It's not a bad product. And the last thing I have, it's a funny thing. Foundation brush. And this one is Revolution. Makeup Revolution. Revolution foundation brush. And I broke it. I used it together with my hourglass stick foundation. And I don't know if I pushed too, too hard or something on my face, but I broke it. And it kind of leaves... There is some here that are longer. They're not loose, so they're not coming off, but they are a little bit longer. Very strange. It feels like this one needs to shave. But I do like the tense of this foundation. I do like the brush, brush head and how, we, how it applied my foundation. But this handle was too thin and I won't repurchase it because I don't want it to br broke again. 
so guys that was everything i had in this video i hope you liked it please let me know down below what product did you use up and what product do you love and want me to try out and did you try any of these products what do you think thought of, what are your things about them please let me know down below don't forget to hit that subs subscribe button don't hit forget to hit that notification bell and like button and i hope i see you in my next video bye